In this video, I will be outlining the environmental characteristics of hot deserts. I will be focusing on the four following sections. Number one, the global distribution of deserts. Number two, the climatic conditions. Number three, the nature of desert soils. And number four, lastly, how plants and animals have adapted to live in this desert environment. Our global deserts are distributed at various locations around the world. The majority of the time they are located in dry continental areas, some distance from the coastline. Two of our most famous global hot deserts is the Great Victoria Desert located in Central Australia and the Great Sahara Desert located in Northern Africa. The global atmospheric circulation is the primary reason for the extreme hot climate of our deserts. A belt of high pressure forms due to air descending from the equator. This leads to a lack of clouds and rain, which also contributes to the hot temperatures throughout the day. The lack of cloud cover also contributes to the temperatures dropping to below freezing throughout the night time. As a result of a lack of vegetation in deserts, there is very little organic matter within the sandy and stony soils. They are, of course, very dry and very brittle, and the thin soils will absorb rainfall quickly. Normally, a white powder can be found at the top of our desert soils. This is caused by the extreme temperature causing evaporation, which draws salts to the surface. Of course, desert soils are not very fertile. The fascinating animals of our global hot deserts have found ways to survive what can only be described as environmentally harsh conditions. Three of the main ways animals have adapted are Number one, many animals such as rodents are nocturnal, where they will sleep underground during the day and at night time they will come out to hunt and eat, especially when the temperatures are lower. Number two, animals such as snakes um, hold water through their waterproof skin. Number three, a number of animals such as camels can go without days without drinking any water at all. The fascinating vegetation in our hot deserts, just like animals that live there, have also found incredible ways to adapt to the dry, hot environmental conditions. The four main adaptions are, number one, some plants are able to store water in their fleshy stems and leaves. These are known as succulents. Number two, Waxy leaves prevent water loss. Number three, the roots of some plants are horizontal, attempting to get as much moisture from the thin soil as possible. Number four, lastly, there are some plants which have long roots, 
normally around 10 meters deep. So they are able to reach ground water supplies. Thank you for watching my video on the environmental conditions of hot deserts. I hope it does support you in your geography lessons. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter for many more geography videos just like this one, which will support you through your geography GCSE or A-level.